Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's DIY, I'm going to be showing you how I make my beautiful red pastel fantasy coaster. Now, like I mentioned before, I work with um, this um, coaster uh, the same time I work with the one that I put last week, but I wanted to make uh, its own video for it because it's two different products. But it's basically the same thing that we did on the other one that we're going to be repeating on this one, except with different colors. Now, and thank you so much, guys, because I have received a few suggestions about color combination for uh, making more of this beautiful pastel uh, uh, coasters and other products that I'm going to make in because I'm working on a pastel collection and I can't wait to go ahead and use your uh, combination color that you have. Uh, let me know that's going to be beautiful. I can't wait and I can't wait to show you guys the result. Now I give you a little sneak peek right now. I'm going to be showing you what I did. It's basically going to repeat the same step that we did, but instead this time, instead of using alcohol ink, um, I'm going to be using straight uh, acrylic paint. And again, we're going to be needing a tiny, tiny amount of each one of the products that I'm going to be using. Since we're going to be making the colors to turn pastel, you don't need a lot of color. I'm going to be showing you and because we want a pastel to be almost like a metallic type or very shimmery type pastel, we're going to be also using mica powder to mix with our alcohol. I mean, your or um, acrylic paint and I'm showing you all the colors that I'm gonna be using as always for the uh, well just like the last one we're just gonna need three different colors plus our base colors is gonna be making uh, with the um, the gold leaf also uh, the only thing that I did different on this one guys and it wasn't on purpose and it was by accident I completely forgot to put the uh, gold glitter and you know mix with the gold leaf so I did that last at the last minute uh, because I forgot about it but it's not on purpose but it's just basically the same result it's just gonna be showing that the the acrylic um the glitter is gonna be more potent and on this one instead of uh, you know if you were mixing it in, in the epoxy itself that was the the only thing that I did different and again it was just a mistake it wasn't uh <laughs> it wasn't by you know on purpose now as you can see guys I'm using a tiny tiny little bit of acrylic paint you don't need a lot the one thing about this collection is because you barely need uh any products like a, a little bit goes a long long way and also just like i mentioned guys to make this set of uh, four coasters plus the coaster holder all you need is going to be eight ounces of epoxy to completely fill them up and then a little bit more epoxy probably like two or three ounces later on to do the top coat once everything is done cure overnight um but basically that's all you're going to be needing it doesn't take a lot of epoxy and it's a beautiful beautiful set now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same uh, step again. Mix your products, mix your epoxy well, mix your mica powder and your acrylic paint well in the epoxy so that way you don't have any big chunky, you know, powder or big chunk paint that you don't want as well as the uh, gold leaf guys make sure you mix it well so that way you can break it apart um, and you have like very nice little um, bit of gold leaf because you don't want them to uh, you know kind of like big chunk on them so make sure you mix your products well 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 again I'm using Provine supplies this is my epoxy of choice but guys I uh, think I need to um, <laughs> expand my horizon a little bit more try different epoxies so uh, you do just to test them but I absolutely love Promine Supplies they haven't felt me yet I love working uh, with their epoxy and I have received a few questions about you know um heat resistance now I know Promarin itself uh, the, the air table top epoxy can sustain heat all the way up to 135 degree Fahrenheit uh, I know there is like more um, other epoxy that can have higher re resistance like um uh, stone coat countertop i know it can go all the way to 500 so but i haven't um used their product yet so i can't tell you anything about them but um i think i will try to check out a few other epoxy just to do like a comparison for you guys to let you know you know what i think about them why not <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and start adding my color just like i did before and i absolutely love this color guys the watermelon uh red uh color it's so beautiful i love love it and just remind me of like summer and fall at the same time i love love this color and the combination is very well um but uh, the only thing with this combination because i added a tiny little bit of the yellow because i didn't want the yellow to overtake you know 
the whole thing or change color of the other two that I was doing because I have blue and have the yellow I didn't want it to turn green so I had a tiny little bit of uh, yellow um, just you know to maintain the color so that's why the the color of the coaster itself the red uh, took over um, a lot more because I added more red because I wanted the coaster to be on the red side and basically all I'm doing right now guys as, as you can see for the coaster as I mentioned before all that you have to do and mostly for the mold uh, the coaster holder itself just kind of take like a popsicle stick and then run it uh, you know on the side of your coaster just to kind of remove any air bubbles and put pull them to the surface so because you, that way you don't have any big hole air bubble that's gonna be in your coaster itself and you have worked for me so far so I um, highly suggest that you do that and tap it a little bit more just to bring the bubbles to the surface and all I'm doing right now guys all I'm just gonna go ahead and mix my color a little bit not too much because you still want to be able to see all the colors I'm just gonna mix them a little bit hit them in the heat gun cover them and let them cure overnight and the next time we're gonna go ahead and top coat the whole thing and I'll come back to show you the finished result just before I go and let you watch all this guys I want to thank you again so so much for all of you have like um leave me a lot of comment a lot of suggestion on my other uh, uh previous video if you haven't watched that guys i'm gonna leave the link for you right there it's uh part of the collection that i'm doing the pastel fantasy collection so make sure you check that out i'm pretty sure you're gonna love this color and you can still leave me color combination for this because i'll be making a whole collection out of this in different color pastel so please leave me more comment um, about you know com color combination that you think will go together and that's gonna be great looking and i can't wait to do them and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for being here i really 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 appreciate you stepping by um and watch my video it meant a lot to me go ahead please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel like this video share it with your friend and family and don't forget to go ahead and scroll uh, you know hit the notification bell to be notified on all my new upload we tend to upload here every friday and sunday or every friday and monday depending on the week so make sure you have your notification bell on so you can be notified and for all my old subscriber again thank you so much for being here once again i really 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 appreciate all your love and support guys i'm gonna let you finish watching this and then i'll be right back to show you the finished result.
right guys so this is the finished result for the coaster when it's all done and this is what it look like i think this color combination is beautiful it's very subtle very very classy looking i love love it let me know in the description box below if you like this color combination better than the other one or if you like the other one better guys i'll leave all the link of everything that i use in the description box for you make sure you click on the amazon store that's where i list all the product that i use and so that way you can just click on it and find what you want uh, in one place also guys make sure you check out on all my other video that i have on, on my channel you can go directly to my channel and watch any of the diy video that i have i have many of them and also if you have any suggestion on what products you want me to do next next let me know guys i love you so so much thank you so much for being here and until then guys be blessed and stay blessed i'll see you soon guys bye